Good afternoon. Welcome to computer class. My name is Onyeme Chichi Nyer. Today we'll be handling a topic called internet. First of all, we'll start by the definition of internet. We also have internet terminologies. We also have types of browser and we also have benefits of internet. First of all, let's start with the definition of internet. Internet is a worldwide network of computers that shares information. It is also defined as a global system of internet, interconnected computer network that use the internet protocols to, to link devices. When it comes to internet technologies, we have cyber cafe, which can be called internet cafe. Internet cafe is a place where you go and browse if you don't have access to your computer sometimes it might be a regular power supply or whatever so you feel like going to business center to go and browse and do whatever you want to do online so internet browser can be internet browser is a place that provides service to public usually for fee like before you browse in cyber cafe you have to buy time that it can allow you to have access to their computer. We also have cyber cyberspace. It is an electronic media of computer network in which online communication take place because you cannot browse if you are not on if you are not online. Like going to a business center, buying time, or you have data of your own. So we also have download. Download it means downloading from a remote computer to your own local computer means if you're online you see picture or you see a a text a note a textbook or a note or maybe an article that you got you got your eye that you want to download it so you can download it from the internet to your own phone then after at your own convenient time you can read it we also have upload it means you might write an article in your after it you feel like uploading it online or maybe you want to share it with your friend in a group then you can upload it to them in that forum so they'll have access to it that's what it means by uploading we also have email email simply means electronic mail is a way of transmitting through your computer and we also have file transfer protocol which is sometimes if you want to download from the online and you upload so this is how file transfer protocol take place. It's a standard method of downloading and uploading file over the internet. We also have home page. Or we also have home page. This is the first page that appears when you visit any website. It is also a page of a website that provides the introduction of introduction or client with link we also have world wide web it is a system of inter, interlinked hypertext document access give you access via the internet it is also defined as a part of the internet that contain links like image sound and the video documents we also have website is a collection is a web is a collection of worldwide web page or file we have types of browser which you can see here we have mozilla firefox we have google chrome we have microsoft internet explorer we also have apple safari and opera these are the types of browser you can use when you want to go online as in browsing through the internet we also have features of internet browser Internet browser have different parts. It have title bar, menu bar, address bar, status bar, scroll bar, and the standard to bar. First of all, let's start with title, uh, title bar. Title bar display the current page which we are in, and why the menu bar is used to activate command depending the type of browser you are using. We we'll have the it has file editing, view, tools, and bookmark and help. We we'll also have address bar address bar is the component of an uh, internet browser which is used to impute and show the web website the web 
address is generally given in a lower casing and is and is in case insensitive. There is no space in the web page or the web address. We'll stop here. We'll continue in the next class. Thank you and do have a nice day. Bye-bye.